So I made a tutorial a few weeks ago on some camera movements in this Audi scene I've been working on endlessly and then I thought I would show how I made the tire texture and now I'm still working on the scene which you can get on my cell phone and don't worry if you already bought it I will email you the new one when I upload it but I figured a car paint tutorial would be imminent and most useful. One thing I want to declare with car paints is that they're not the bees knees of car renders, okay? I'd only suggest taking this tutorial seriously if you have a decent quality model. That means quads, lots of quads, and wholesome lighting. I really should make a more up-to-date lighting tutorial, but just keep flicking through HDRIs for now, you'll be fine. To be honest, if those things aren't in check, you could really just make a glossy material and call it a day. Nobody will know. Ever. 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 Okay, so how are we creating the material? So there's this thing in Octane 8, uh, I mean uh, 4, called Universal Materials. And what are Universal Materials? Isn't that the age-old question of the day? No. Well, if Manx materials weren't enough and blend materials were also not enough, Universal Materials put diffuse, glossy, metallic, and specular all in one. How neat is that? How cool is that? How awesome is that? How spectacular is that? Yes. Uh, as an example, typically, if you make glossy material, the emission channel would vanish. Not now. It's still there. It's, it's, it's there. See, like, right there. Do you see it? So today we'll be making a cool thing called conductor materials. For all you uncultured neophytes, that's metallic. But we don't use the word metallic here because we're too intellectual, okay? So I will go over shiny materials and more matte-ish ones, whatever floats your boat. Here's a cool tip though, if you don't have the most powerful hardware, go for a more matte look. It looks just as good and it will slice your render time by like 50% in most cases, or more, who knows? But this is due to cutting out all of the light bounces, Octane has to measure, and believe me, he, and or maybe she, your GPU temperature will thank you for it. Both of them will really, really thank you for it. But now, the main trope of car paints, no matter what render engine you're using, is gradients in the diffuse channel. So I'm not sure if car paints in real life have them, but 3D ones sure as hell do, and as far as I'm concerned, 3D is more realistic than real life, so let's not listen to real life, okay? And you may have noticed by now, in Universal Materials, there's not a diffuse channel, it's called Albedo. Now, Albedo is trying to say, hey, I'm diffused, just with a fancier name, look at me. It essentially means it is more flat, I guess, you know, it's, it, it reads it better, I think. But now, ignoring all that for a second, once we have our material on our desired vehicle, in this case, I will use the Audi again for continuity, so I may as well change my name to Kevin C40 Feige. <laughs> but we can put the gradient in our albedo channel. Now, make sure we're calling this one matte or rough, as this material will be the controller uh, or for the rough side of the carpet. Now, make another, call it shiny or glossy or metallic or reflective or maybe just call it matte as well for fun and confuse the shit out of yourself later. Then put them in a mix and put a float in the amount so we can control them. Put it to one. Uh, so now I will focus on the red paint I made first. Why not? And then I'll turn it into the lovely matte black one which I like more because it renders quicker. So uh, adjust your gradient and make one side darker than the other. You can even mix the colors if you want. That looks cool. I tried that a little bit. You know, you could do like a pearl, pearlescent, silver, blue kind of thing. There's other ways you can do that with different channels, but who cares? But right. So next, get another float and put it in the roughness. And I'd suggest the value of around 0.05 to 0.2, maybe 0.1, and then get another float and put it in the coating, which is probably the most important channel here for car paints. Now, if you actually go into the coating layer on both the mats, it has its own IOR, and I'd suggest bringing down the roughness on them as we've used the other channel. Um, this won't affect the actual IOR uh, if you're going to change them as well, um, which for the shiny material you could actually set to about two, and it will help with all the reflectiveness and that jazz. But I will go. We will use this roughness to get the matte look later on, not the other roughness. The other roughness will fuck it all up, so just keep in mind about this roughness on the coating layer. But now. If you pop in an invert and then a fall off map into the back of the gradient on the albedo, you can easily adjust the brightness of the paint being shown on the metal of the car. Now, so it's literally acting layers. There's a metal layer and a coating and paint on top, which is really, really cool. 
I, I think that's awesome. Don't, don't you think that's it's so smart? It's, but if you put the flow of our mixed material to zero, and now we can start on the shiny mat, the reflective mat, the, the matte mat. Uh, just plug the same gradient into the albedo. There's really no point in creating a new one. It'll slow your workflow. Um, but drop a flow in for the roughness and put it at zero because, well, we don't want any roughness here. And then another for the coating, just like last time. But this time do the polar opposite and put it all the way up at one. And now it's shiny. You can actually even put a noise in the bump set it to box on the projection and crank the scale way down to like 0.1 drop a mix in and put two floats into it play with the values a little bit and now you have flakes and cars have flakes lots of cars have flakes and what do you think is next well go to the float set it to 0.5 and bam there's your car paint looks pretty cool right i know awesome and um, now if you want that sick matte black look that'll save you random time um, we'll change the gradient to like a really dark grey, like 5, 6, 7% going on light grey. Um, go into the coating layer like we did earlier, and put the roughness all the way up. And remember when you're making blacks, don't make it actually black, make it like dark, dark, dark grey. Don't make it actually black, never make it actually black. Okay, that's an R principle. Okay, change the IOR IOR, not the coating IOR. Take it a little bit lower, okay? And then change the flow on the amount to like 0.7 to like 0.9 in the mixed material in favor of the matte material. Now, what I said before about the matte thing, um, well, we're gonna use the coating layer roughness and the reason we use the coating roughness and not the actual roughness is because the coating is made for the car paint type materials. And if we use the normal roughness, it won't go matte. It will just obliterate it and make it look almost diffuse. And it's as simple as that. All the work was done before to change it to matte. It's not that difficult. I think the more shiny cars are more common, but you know, but anyway, it's safe to say that's pretty much it now. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave you and let you discover your own car paint techniques. I absolutely hope this helps with your future renders and creating the realistic octane cars. More real than real cars. 3D is more real than real life. Don't get it mixed up. I know the format of this tutorial was a little different, but I had a lot more fun making it. And I feel as if it's much more straight to the point, you know? Because usually when I try to talk and... and create something at the same time that that uses the same parts of the brain man like i can't focus on saying quippy things while i'm trying to create cool renders that's just no I'm not that intelligent but the scene is available on my asset store over at selfie <sighs> you don't have to the scene is available over on my asset store over at Selfie and I have a bunch of more project files so if you're interested please take a look and you never know what you might find. You could see something you like. But if you don't mind, like the video, it helps it show up in more people's boxes on YouTube and then we can all have nice car paint. But with all that being said, thank you for watching, check out my damn store and go create some dope shit. Bye.